Happy Halloween, everyone, and happy uncorking. I am Chad. I am Sarah. And we are going to be uncorking something from the dead. Uh, 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 yeah. We're going to raise it from the dead. <laughs> yes. This is Old Crow Reserve, which, to my understanding, is no longer made any longer. Did that rhyme or no did that repeat longer words? No longer made. It doesn't it happen yeah. anymore. It's <laughs> right. been killed right. off. Yes. You can still find it on show, on in the store occasionally. But not for much longer, right? If it's yeah, well, it's drying up. It's drying up. It's drying up. Yeah. Uh, unless they bring it back, which could happen. I don't know. At this exact time in history, Old Crow Reserve, you can't really find it anywhere. So it's dead. Um, and we're going to uncork it. And this is kind of a Halloween episode. That's why it's red in the background. That's why I said, whoa, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. And uh, that's also why I said Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Um, and that's why we're bringing back something from the dead. And it's a crow. Quote the raven. For drink real. Drink more bourbon. Nothing's more Halloween. Did you say for real? For real. Like, nothing's more Halloween than oh. Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, that's you, I thought you said that. Crows, you know. Yeah, he's uh, he says friend. nevermore. He doesn't say for real. Never Quote the raven. Nevermore. Never Quote the raven. I know, right? But if you don't watch the following, you should watch it, so. I don't watch the following. Well, then you wouldn't know anything about Edgar Allan Poe or The Gross. I would, because I don't watch the following? Let's just. Okay, I watched the early seasons of The Simpsons, and they did, you know, The Raven with James Earl Jones narrating, so I think. Was Kevin Bacon in it? Probably. Was Kevin Bacon in it? No. Probably. Like, the following (laughs) is not going to win an Emmy or anything, but. There's a good chance. It's interesting. The Kevin Bacon was in it. They play anyway. a lot on the crow. All right. Anyways. We're getting off topic. Let's just talk about So the we're going to uncork this, a.k.a. unscrew, unscrew it. it. I've never had Hold this. Hold on. There it is. Oh, there it was. Yeah. I've never had this either. Nothing is more delightful than okay. that sound. So while this breathes mm, for a moment, let me... Uh, let it breathe. Yeah, waft it. Um, quick story. So when I was cutting my teeth on bourbon back when I was just a wee lad of 21 years of age and older, I had... 21, sure. Wrap it up. <laughs> I had this theory that if it had reserve in the title, it was good because I'd had Jefferson's Reserve, I'd had Russell's Reserve, uh, you know, Woodford Reserve, which at the time I really enjoyed. Um, uh, then I discovered W.L. Weller Reser- Special Reserve, which is like $19, and I was like, this has got to be a thing. If it has reserve on the title, it's good. So I was like, well, Oak Crow isn't bad, but it's not like, it's not super. Is Oak Crow Reserve, like, just wonderful? And then it, uh, then I never bought it, and it dried up. Well, now I'm finally getting to try it. It's just kind of like a coming of age. Or... This is a moment. It is a moment. So, Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I think I'm ready. Okay, you're ready. I'm going to pour you first, bourbon snob. I don't know if I can see your glass, but if it's... my glass it says bourbon snob. But, you know, my glass is not a reflection of me, so I am a little... Well, we will talk about that in another okay, episode. Okay, that's another so. episode. I have a Batman... Uh, you know, 1960s era Batman logo glass. He's our Dark Knight. Yes. We need a White Knight, but we need, also need a Dark Knight. Yeah. So. We deserve him, but we don't. That's right. He's just here to not save Not the us. bourbon that we need, but the bourbon. That, not the bourbon no. we deserve, but the bourbon that we, we need. Yeah. There we go. That, ah. That's the one. <laughs> Cheers. That's a good. We should name a Batman bourbon. Ooh. And maybe it's this. Could be. We'll not see. the bourbon that we de- need. De- need. No, not deserve. the bourbon that we deserve, but the bourbon that we need. And that's our Batman bourbon. <laughs> yes. And that is a great qualified, like, um, like a classification I, of a bourbon. I like it. All right. Well, we'll think about that All right, let's as this. we. Oh, it's very oaky. Right? It's nice. Like super oak, which I enjoy. Oak and brown sugar and maple and. Okay, before we taste. Maybe like a little hazelnut. It smells like the most amazing pie I've ever tasted. But you haven't even tasted it. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, but... Okay, all right. Okay. Okay, let me just go ahead and read, because I like reading. Read the back. The back, okay. Dr. Crow. (laughs) Dr. Crow. Dr. Crow, medicine woman. No, that's not right. (laughs) 
Dr. Crow enjoyed a, gr a great this. glass of bourbon. That's why he invented the sour mash process. But he was extra picky about the bourbon he served to those considered his closest friends. Old Crow Reserve is aged a full year longer and bottled at a higher proof. Perfect for friends. Cheers. Cheers. This is aged four years in new charred oak 86 barrels. proof. 86 proof. It actually smells. It smells like an oak bomb. Oak, but like I said, I get some other things off of it. Oh, woo! It tastes higher than 86 proof, doesn't it? It is hot. It's hot. Yeah. Like a uh, higher proof. But, yeah. you know, I like the flavor. This to me tastes like Jim Beam. Old Crow is now. Gosh! Well, at a point, was made by Jim Beam. I think it has switched hands, so don't quote me on this. But when this was made, I believe it was made by Jim Beam. If I could choose a fall bourbon off my first taste, and we're talking like leaves and fires and maple Foliage. and, you know, pecans, like I said. Because who makes a pecan pie not for Thanksgiving? But anyways, foliage and all this shit. Sorry. This is what I would probably choose because it honestly tastes like all those things like leather bound books and fires and watching scary movies. Rich mahogany. And it's legit. I'm not saying it's the best bourbon I've ever had, but when we're talking about drinking during the fall time. Yes. I would, I like it. I like it too. 86, what a strange number. Well, there's other 86s out there. I think if you're between 80 and 90, you're probably at 86, honestly. True. Okay. Well. Not to completely shut down what you're just saying, but. <sighs> it's extremely interesting to me. Like. Oh, it's just. Oak. I feel it's oak, city. It's oak it's but oak city. it's also a lot of other things. And I think that that's. It makes it more than just. You can't discount it to just be like, oh, it's oaky and it's just oak crow. Like. I think it's got a lot going on, and it's a it's a murder mystery. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Who done um, it? Would you who, like to, who done it? Would you like to know an interesting aside? Yes. Um, so this is from the mind, mm -hmm. the mouth of Fred Minnick, I believe, author, bourbon author. He said back in the I want to say 50s, could be 60s, Old Crow was the sought after bourbon. It's like I want that old crow bourbon. Uh, it was it was it was the stuff. You know, like Pappy is sought after today. It was like nothing. Like this was it. This was it. Now this obviously isn't the same treatment as it was back then. This has changed. And it's dead. Well yeah it's dead, but it it changed. Well before that, um, but it's just that's an interesting aside that back then Old Crow was was the stuff. And I, I have to respect it. I think it has a lot of layers of flavor going on. Mm -hmm. Like you get that oak, but I also think you get like some maple and brown sugar and yeah, brown sugar, maybe a tiniest bit of caramel, caramel. It's good. It's like. Um, I would call it a dessert bourbon, mm, okay. if there's such a thing. I would call it that. Mm -hmm. um, and I like it. It's sweet enough to be pleasant, but not too sweet to where I don't like it. And if you know me, I don't don't tend to like the sweetest. I'm a bitter old you're woman. Better. I'm a witch. I should be wearing a witch hat for this bourbon episode she of Halloween. When the cameras are on. No. <laughs> No, that's gonna she end up so that's that. gonna end up somewhere. I don't want mm. to no. Um No, it's I enjoy it. It's got it's a it's an eighty six and it's a little hot for what it is, I think. Uh, yeah, I would call this like I would think this would be like bottled and bond hundred proof. Blindfolded I would call it a hundred proof. Mm -hmm. So it's a little hot for what proofage mm -hmm. it is, but I think it's got the flavors going on to where it's worth it. Yeah. I'd drink it. 
especially for Halloween. Is it worth it? Let me work it. <laughs> I don't know the rest. Put my and thing down, down, flip, flip it, it and reverse it. Put this it. old crow down, flip it and, and reverse, reverse it. it. Good God, I hope that does not end up on oh, the final cut. It's There's no cutting in, in uh, uncorking. There's no cutting away. It's all one continuous shot. No, no, yeah. no. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, my, yes. Oh, my, Oh, my, yes. yes. Good news, everyone. That was terrible. If you don't get the Futurama reference, then just don't. Actually, I can say bad news better in his voice. Bad news, everyone. <laughs> Pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> Shut up and take my money. That's a great Is what line. I would say for Old Crow Reserve. Yeah, you should because drink it. it's cheap. It... It's not available anymore, so it doesn't really matter. But if you find it on the shelf, this was a dusty for me. Get it. Get it. I have not found this in the town that I live in. I have found this outside of the town that I live in. Um, and I bought it both times. So I've got another one that I'm gonna keep sealed because that's I, how I roll. I just think it's delightful. It tastes like fall in glass. Like... Fall in glass. I don't know what else to say about it. Like, uh, let me equate this to a pumpkin spice latte. Like, girls who wait all year for a pumpkin spice latte like bourbon drinkers who wait all year for a fall bourbon, like this is your pumpkin spice latte. And not in a bad way, but I feel like that's a bad connotation. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It has, if I were to equate this to memories, I would think of like fires and leaves and jackets and blankets and scary movies and it's just so good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. no, it's good. You know what? It's a I'll long and cork it. No, it's no, a long and cork it. No, no, it's Chad fine. doesn't like it. No, I like no. it. It's fine. No, 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 it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm not allowed to be on uncorking anymore. It's good. It's good. Uh, so that'll do it. Jackets and fall and Pinterest. Basic bitches stuff. Yes, Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. Just Pinterest this. Pinterest this. And if you have a boyfriend, Old Crow buy him some if you can find How it. How to please your man with. How brunch. to please your man, and you should get the Old Crow in reserve. Ten. 10 days? What is it? How to, uh, how to your... lose a guy in 10 days. And that involves a very expensive diamond necklace, so. And a love fern. Oh. And a small dog. So I've read online. He's seen it. I he loves seen. Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right, all right. Well, Turkey. Who doesn't love Matthew McConaughey? Wow, this little thing we call bourbon. <laughs> all right, so that's three impressions in one uncorking. Uh, let's wrap this up. If I think I'm find still it, Sarah. You are still Sarah. Buy it. I'm still Chad. Happy Halloween, everybody. Until next time, drink more bourbon. <laughs>